Hey everyone, welcome back to the BB Bunker, continuing 31 Days of Horror with a look at the 2006 film, The Insatiable, brought to us by uh, Chuck Konzelman and Kerry Solomon. Uh, this is the story of Harry, who is a kind of lonely, nerdy, uh, flanged salesman, who one night happens to run across a female vampire who, you know, kills and eats a homeless man in front of her, uh, in front of him. Um, so he, I don't know if it's... He, Falls in love with her, feels sorry for her, a combination of the two. He decides to capture her and imprison her in his basement, um, also so that she can't kill anyone anymore. Um, and of course, this is supposed to be kind of a horror comedy romance, or haram com. Um, and you've got uh, Sean Patrick Flannery's playing as, as Harry, uh, the girl plays Natalia, doesn't really have a lot to work with. She just has, to, for the most part, they just want her to sit there and kind of look uh, pretty and desperate. Um, they don't give her much to do. Um, and uh, parts of the movie are fairly dull, where there just doesn't seem to be a lot going on. You have Michael Bean in here as like a monster hunter, though he doesn't do a whole lot most of the movie, except be crazy. Um, and it's, I don't know, it just... I wasn't expecting, like, you know, roll on the floor laughter, but it just, at times, there's just things that just happen that don't really seem to accomplish anything as far as progressing the story. And a uh, scale of 1 to 10, I don't know, it's it's kind of like, it's like an awkward first date. Watching someone else have an awkward first date. Like, you're at the bar, and oh, look, there, that's a first date. And you can see that, well, she's afraid of a commitment, and he's a complete dork. And that's kind of what you got here. And, and there's part of you that's like kind of rooting for him, like, hey, maybe they'll end up together. Um, but you don't care all that much, because you're going to forget about him within a day or two anyways. And that's kind of how this movie is. It just, it's, you watch it, and it's like, okay what's next, because there's nothing really memorable about it, unfortunately. Uh, despite, you know, the fact that you have some people who are established actors, and, and even were at this point. Uh, but just it just can't seem to get off the ground and really get moving. So, that's all I've got for this one. Until next time, stay safe in the wasteland, folks.